What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Miss Twenty Monroe, and today I'm back with another video. So today I am going to be making a copycat of the Chick Fil A spicy chicken sandwich, and I'm going to be using some chicken breasts. This one is not cut yet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it. I already cut these. That one kind of messed up, but that's okay. But I cut a few of them, so I'm just basically cutting it in half so it don't be too thick and it can cook evenly. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to take it like that and slant and just cut it in half. So you got to be careful when you're doing this. Cut it in half like so. And make sure you have a sharp knife. knife. And voila, there you go. So I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using paprika to season my chicken sandwich with black pepper, dark chili powder, garlic powder, cayenne, because I want it to be spicy. If you don't want spicy, don't use cayenne. And I'm going to use accent. And I'm going to be marinating my chicken breast in some dill pickle juice. I got this recipe off of YouTube and it looked pretty good, so I'm trying it exactly how I saw it. So I'm going to put all of my chicken sandwiches into the pickle juice and let them marinate for about 30 minutes. I'm just going to put them all in there. Then I'm going to put something over this to cover it up. Let them marinate up in there. And I'm going to be right back to show y'all how I make my sauce. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so while, while my um, chicken is marinated in the lemon, I mean not lemon juice, in the pickle juice, I also added a little water with the pickle juice, y'all. So I forgot I left that part. So out now I'm going to add gonna... my mayo. Well, I'm going to show you guys what I'm using. Mayo. Barbecue. Spicy Dijon mustard. To give it a little spicy kick. Honey mustard. You can use any brand. I got this from Walmart. It's the great value can. And I'm going to be adding lemon juice. Mayo. So first I'm going to add my mayo. And I'm making a lot. I'm trying to replicate the Chick-fil-A sauce that you have on this sandwich. Okay, I'll add some mayo. Some honey mustard. Dijon mustard for a little spicy kick. Barbecue sauce, and I'm not even measuring this stuff, y'all. I'm just putting it in there. Okay. A little lemon juice. And now I'm going to add a little um, cayenne. Just because I want my to be kind of spicy. You don't have to add cayenne in yours if you don't want to. Just add a little bit. So now I'm going to mix it all up together. <clears throat> Evenly mix it up together, y'all. Okay. And this is the sauce for the chicken sandwich. You want to mix it all up evenly. That's all I'm doing, y'all. It's mixing it up. And it's like a light red looking color as of now. Like a light looking color. Kind of similar to their sauce, but y'all get the picture. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to come back and show y'all how I'm going to bread and season the chicken. So I have eggs, buttermilk, and I have flour with cornstarch, and I have some black pepper and chili powder. I have some cayenne with accent. Some cayenne, pepper, and accent. 
and I'm just putting it all in the mix with the egg and the buttermilk and I have some garlic powder so I'm gonna mix all of that up together I'm gonna add a little bit more buttermilk in here because I ain't know what I'm gonna get like that. I didn't know what I'm gonna get like that. I gotta make it watery so I'm able to dip the sandwiches in here. Okay, y'all. So I'm just whispering it like that. Yeah, because she can't get to the. Okay, y'all, so this is one of the sliced chicken sandwiches. I'm going to dip it in here first. And then I'm going to dip it in the bread. And I put flour and cornstarch in here. And I'm going to add a little bit of Cayenne to the bread. I should have been did this, y'all, but I want to add a little bit of cayenne in the mix too because I want it to be spicy. And I want to add a little bit of chili powder just to give it a darker, redder look. And that's in the. I'm going to add a little garlic to it, y'all. I'm doing this a little backwards, y'all, but that's okay. So, <clears throat> this season is making me sneeze, y'all. Okay, so now I'm gonna dip it one more time in here to make sure it's braided really good. And I'm gonna put it back in there. And then get it braided on both sides really good and, and thick. And smush it down in there like that, y'all, to make sure that it's in there, okay? And now I'm gonna put it in the grease, y'all. I'm hoping this grease is really hot, y'all. Okay, so you want to smash it down to keep all your bread on there, too. On both sides. Okay, here we go, y'all. Okay. And you want to let these big ones um, fry for maybe like seven minutes. So I'll repeat the same step, y'all. And I'm going to get done when I'm finished making them all. Don't go nowhere. Chicken sandwiches turned out, y'all. They're really big and crispy. This is how they turned out, and I'm just letting them. Well, I'm not letting them cool. I'm just showing y'all how to look when they first came out the grease. Now I'm about to add the cheese and make the sandwiches. Chicken sandwiches with the cheese on it, and I got a few more to make because I'm cooking for a whole big family. But once I'm done, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put the sandwiches together with the sauce and everything. I'll come back and show y'all these two smaller ones that just came out. How they turned out. I don't think I like the smaller ones, but I think those is like Mondo chicken sandwiches right there. But they all gonna get eight though. But next time I come back, the whole sandwich will be put together with french fries, okay, y'all? Know this is a long video, but well, hopefully it's really not that long. So I'll be back when I'm done. I'm back and I'm getting ready to toast my buns. These are the kind of buns I got. I got I picked them up from Walmart. You can get these buns from anywhere. They might be by a different brand though, but I got mine from Walmart. And I got my skillet right here with some butter in it. And now I'm gonna put my buns in the skillet. Buns are done, they are lightly toasted. And now I'm about to put this delicious chicken sandwich together, y'all. Y'all, I am back, and this is my bun. I just lightly toasted. This is the chicken sandwich right here. I'm gonna add some salt. Mommy, mine. There's no one. There's no one. So, you're not in. Oh. And I'm gonna add some pickles. This is um, a milk, a chocolate milk. You can't have your baba. Okay, see it? Yeah, this is your baba here. And then I'm going to add the sandwich. No, 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 not your baba. Not in your baba. You not did your baba. Green lettuce. Okay. Can I go my mommy? Some tomato. No! No, no, no. I did my 
Chick fil A, chicken. Okay, sauce. now. Okay, now this is our way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, how does that look like? Wait. Wait. Wait, what? Mix it up. Oh. Ooh. Can you And. Voila. Here y'all go. That's not the topic.